In a terrific op-ed piece in the Wall Street Journal, Senator Roger Wicker writes, Joe Biden should come out and say it. America will help defend Taiwan. And he joins us now to talk about this. Senator Wicker, good to see you, sir. And this was a heck of a great piece. A lot of meat on the bones. And I want to ask you at the top, um, the Davidson window. Tell us about the Davidson window, please. Uh, well, th this is uh, well, this was sort of a, a surprise bit of testimony last spring from Admiral Davidson, who was leaving as Indo-PACOM, uh, as the, the leading admiral there in Indo-PACOM for the United States. And, uh, and he said, we're basically, uh, the people who are convinced this is going to be a long-term threat from China, it, uh, as, as far as invading Taiwan, uh, th they need to look at it differently. There's about a six-year window in which it would be optimal for uh, communist China, mainland China, to make a move against Taiwan. And so uh, I think a lot of people have looked at his analysis and have come to agree with him. L listen, Larry, I, I don't want a war with China over Taiwan. I don't want a war with Russia over Ukraine. But I, th I think the best way to avoid conflict is a show of strength and a show of resolve. And, uh, and, and I, th I just got back from the Halifax Security uh, International Conference in Halifax, Nova Scotia. And I'll tell you, the two things that they're worried about there uh, uh, principally are uh, Chinese invasion of Taiwan and, and the Russians amassing these troops on the border of Ukraine. Mm. We need to send strong signals that we're not going to stand for this and there'll, there'll be serious consequences in both situations. Do you think, uh, I mean, we've always had this policy, as you point out, um, strategic ambiguity, but it just, um, as I read this and my own wanderings and discussions on this subject, Robert O'Brien's a regular on the show and so forth, it's, it seems, Senator Wicker, there's a little too much strategic ambiguity and not quite enough of what you just said. If we are strong and, you know, on point, that'd probably do more to help uh, stop Taiwan invasion than anything. Well, and thank you for complimenting the op-ed I had in the Wall Street Journal. Uh, yes, I think it's time to admit that stri uh, strategic ambiguity uh, no longer serves the American interest and no longer serves the interest of, uh, of world peace. And, uh, and actually, I, I was uh, surprised, uh, delighted, uh, when President Biden on two occasions last month in a CNN town hall interview, on two occasions, said we would defend Taiwan. That is our national policy. Mm -hmm. and, um, and I don't know, maybe that indicates, as some people believe, an instinct on the part of the Biden administration uh, that we, we ought to come closer to saying uh, Taiwan is of vital interest for the United mm. States. There are a lot of other people who think he was just confused and the very next day his, uh, his staff and his foreign policy advisors made him walk that statement back and said, no, we're still trying to be ambiguous here. I think the time for ambiguity is over. Certainly, uh, it, it's time for more of, uh, of a Navy buildup in the Pacific, and uh, and the president's uh, defense budget does does not indicate that he understands that part of it. So that's a key point. Um, is that going to figure, uh, Senator Wicker, into the um, National Defense Authorization Act discussions? Well, uh, fortunately, on a bipartisan basis, the bill that has come out of the Senate raises um, raises the defense budget by twenty five billion dollars over the uh, over the President Biden plan. So and, and a lot of that is uh, is Indo-Pacific where we need it. The, the fact is the Chinese Navy is larger than ours. Uh, the statutory um, number of ships that that we have called on signed into law by President Trump is 355 ships. Mm. We're well below 300 now, but China has reached 355 mm. ships. And, um, and many of the analysis, um, many of the, you know, the analyses we've seen in writing from independent experts is that, um, frankly, they, they have us outmanned in terms of capability of mm. winning an actual conflict there. Mm. We need to avoid a conflict, but the best way to do it is to say, 
Taiwan is a strategic ally of the United States. Mm -hmm. Our economy uh, would would suffer immensely if Taiwan were uh, were yeah. conquered by China, well, and also our our other allies in the Pacific would be well disadvantaged if China took over Taiwan. Certainly, I mean, the semiconductor thing is huge. Um, uh, Senator, can I just get your last 30 seconds or so? Uh, this t Chinese tennis star flap, Peng Shui. Uh, do you think, first of all, that she's okay? I mean, we've had a lot of ambiguity. Talk about strategic ambiguity about whether she's around or not and healthy. And secondly, um, does this kind of, you know, she was sexually assaulted. That is her uh, allegation against the top um, uh, Chinese minister. Uh, and then the second part is, should we boycott the Chinese Winter Olympics altogether or a diplomatic boycott? What you thinking? Well, you've, you've given me uh, less than 30 seconds to answer uh, uh, quite a question there. I think we, we ought to have a very serious debate in the coming weeks about boycotting the Chinese mm. Olympics. Uh, mm. uh, but but look, at, look at what China does when someone alleges sexual assault and what the United States does is completely different. And I have grave doubts about the authenticity of uh, the information and the videos that uh, we've, we've been able to see. And, uh, and we need more answers. Well, I think you did a great job, sir, on 30 seconds. Pretty good. It's a complicated okay. issue. But Larry, it's good to talk to you. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving, sir. Thanks for Thank coming you. on again. All right, next up, I'm